Welcome to the PowerShell for ProjectWise accreditation course. In this video, we'll provide a course introduction and overview. This training course contains instructional videos with example demonstrations on how to use the ProjectWise PowerShell module for installation and understanding the module extensive library, working with ProjectWise custom objects, bulk processing, and data extraction and generating reports. Below are several types of automation that can be performed using the ProjectWise PowerShell module, which can greatly reduce the time and efforts currently executed manually by ProjectWise administrators and or non-administrators. The module allows you to perform ProjectWise administration and repeatable tasks, can perform data migrations, manipulation, analysis, and reporting, can assist in administration of ProjectWise folder security and access control, can assist in monitoring systems for performance and security access, and can be used to schedule routines to perform some automated tasks. The PowerShell module can be used to integrate other systems and applications. In this course, there are 14 learning objectives. Objective 1 will cover the ProjectWise PowerShell module, understanding the module, how to install it, and understanding commandlet structure and getting help. Learning Objective 2 is working with data sources, connecting the data sources, working with multiple sessions, and getting data source information. Learning Objective 3 is working with folders, understand the folder object and its methods, and a number of commandlets for performing specific tasks on folder objects. Learning Objective 4 will cover the work areas, understanding the object and methods, and the commandlets used to perform certain tasks. Learning Objective 5 will cover documents, understanding the document object and methods, the commandlets used to perform certain tasks. Learning Objective 6 will cover working with flat sets and logical sets, the commandlets used to perform certain tasks. Learning Objective 7 will cover searches, the commandlets used to perform certain tasks. Learning Objective 8 will cover the user accounts, the commandlets used to perform certain tasks. Learning Objective 9 will cover working with groups and user lists, the commandlets used to perform certain tasks. Learning Objective 10 will cover access control, the commandlets used to perform certain tasks. Learning Objective 11 will cover working with environments. The commandlets used to perform certain tasks. Learning Objective 12 will cover working with workflows and states. The commandlets used to perform certain tasks. Learning Objective 13 will cover bulk processing, understanding best practices, and some examples of bulk processing. And lastly, Learning Objective 14 will cover data extraction and reporting, the best practices, and some examples of data extraction and reporting. We look forward to you joining us in these virtual training sessions. Thank you.